Hey class, Absolute 5 here. Today we're going to wrap up multiplication and let's cover real quick some properties of multiplication that we already know because it's, remember, multiplication is a faster form of addition. So, what am I talking about? Multiplication, you are able to use associative property and commutative property where, <clears throat> excuse me, where you're able to take A times B is the same as B times A and when you're grouping, when you're grouping terms, it doesn't matter how you group them, you're going to get the same results. Now what differentiates between multiplication and addition is multiplication has an additional property called the distributive property, which I'm pretty sure you've heard this term one point or another in your life, where let's say I take any number a and, and I'm going to distribute this a into the sum of a of b and c here. So this is going to be a b plus a c because I'm distributing the term in both terms here. So real quick, let's understand what does that mean to do the distributive property? A nice little example would be, let's take six times 40 plus two, you distribute this as six times 40 plus six times two. Well, this is 240 plus 12, excuse me, 252. Okay, now a lot of people would state, but Roger, I could have simply just added the 42 and had six times 42 instead. And my answer to you is yes, you could have done that as well. That's always available as an option. You don't have to do everything exactly as told, but when you're using the distributive property, it's gonna be useful when you won't be able to combine terms in the middle. We're gonna to get to that when we get to variables. So, but now let's talk about multiplying, let's try to multiply larger numbers. Let's say, for instance, I had 89 times 52, right? Okay. You, well, depending on how you were taught, there's always different ways how people learn how to do multiplications. They use lattice points, a lattice grid, or they would use what I was using when I was taught here in America, which was where you multiply the first digit into this digit here in the place of, in the ones place, and then you do it in the tens place, and you continue. So two times nine is 18, and you carry the one. Two times eight is 16, plus one is 17. So now when I, why I put a slash here, this is just a mental note for me to remember that I don't have to use the two and that you put zero as a placeholder. You can leave this blank, but it looks ugly when it comes to actually calculating everything. So that's why I put zero as a placeholder. Five times nine is 45. So you put the five here and you put the four on top. Five times eight is 40 plus four more is 44. Now you add everything up. Eight plus zero is eight. Five, seven plus five is 12. One plus one is two plus four is six. So you're going to get up with 4,628. The reason why there's a call, I guess, multiple sums or because you're breaking up the sums and you're adding them up together to get the actual answer there. Let's do one more. Actually, I'll have you guys do this. Let me know what the answer is down in the comments below what 236 times 86 is going to be. All right, so figure that out and try for yourself and let me know what you get, okay? 
So that's the rest of multiplication. We're going to cover another topic next time. So as usual, guys, smash that bell button for more content. Like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And always let me know if you have any suggestions to improve my feedback or well, any of your feedback, excuse me. Any of your feedback is greatly appreciated and I'm always willing to learn. So this has been Absolute 5. I'm Roger Palomino. Math is infinite because there are infinitely many possibilities. Take care.